At Joe Robbie Stadium, only temperatures, well, they were way, way up high, near the 100-degree mark. But Dan Marino ready against Cornelius Bennett and company. Hits Troy Stratford early with the pass. And then out of the shotgun, look at the Dolphins' new pants, folks. Avoids the rush of Cornelius. See, Marino is faster in the new pants. Completes it to Crash Jensen. Marino delaying the calls. Buffalo offside, but completes on the free play to Andre Brown. Next play, Marino to Mark Duper, who guaranteed a victory in this game. Beats Nate Odoms. Sets up a run by Stratford. 7-3 Miami. An upset in the making. The other side of the ball, the Bills line opening some holes for Thurman Thomas. But again, it was Thurman Thomas left, right, and some other things. Not a lot else. Throwing the ball. Kelly with a lot of time here. And William Judson figures, I just better take a pass interference penalty. That sets up the Bills only scoring in the half. It's 7-3. to three. Uh, Jim Kelly has all the time in the world. Andre Reed wide open, drops the ball at the 10-yard line. You think the Dolphin defense was fired up? Yeah, they made the hit right there. Number one draft pick, Lewis Oliver. At least the one that they signed thus far. 10-3 Miami at the half. Second half, Bill's big play defense. Troy Stratford cups off, uh, coughs up the ball. Shane Conlon caused it. Cornelius Bennett recovered it. Two plays later, the Bills score 10-10. But Jensen blocks the punt by John Kidd. Mark Logan recovers the Dolphins lead 17-10. Kelly finally gets it going. Finds Flip Johnson in the end zone. 24 to 20 Miami. Defense on third and eight. Nate Odoms with the big interception returns it to the 49 yard line. The Bills trying to mount a last gasp drive with two seconds to go. Jim Kelly, who in 44 NFL games had never scored a rushing touchdown, scores on the last play of the game. They come back about three minutes later and kick the extra point. Jim Kelly. Last year was upset. The Bills didn't throw enough. So this year, Gets a wide open Andre Reed. Kelly 10 for his first 10. And Kelly hits James Lofton. Notice how much time Kelly has in the pocket, okay? Kelly again, tons of time, dumps off to Thurman Thomas. The short pass is working for the Bills, and Jim Kelly goes 14 for his first 14 this year. So uh, how did the Bills score? You got it, short pass. Kelly to Butch Roll. It's 10-3 Bills. And for Roll, his last six receptions have all been touchdown catches. Kelly's luxury of time, Bruce Smith will get to him. And Leon Seals recovers the fumble. George dropping back again. And he is sacked again. Jeff Wright this time. And yes, just a tad bit excited. And when he does get the pass off, Albert Bentley just lost among a sea of blue jerseys. The Bills are fired up for the season opener. But then a little nervous, second half, and it started to get better. George lost a great pass to the veteran Stanley Morgan, who grabs it, keeps his feet in. Colts pulls to within 16 to 10. But then it all faded to black for the rookie. Yeah, Cornelius Bennett puts an incredible hit on George. And he is down in pain. And for the Colts, as they lose by a final of 26 to 10, but the rookie, not too bad. In Buffalo, and let's see what happened. The Bills try to write the first chapter of a Super Bowl season, but Jim Kelly banged up all day, limping during the first series. Bills scored on their first possession eight times last year, but Scott Norwood, just like he missed a field goal in the Super Bowl, the field goal to the right, misses his first field goal to the right and the crowd booed a little bit. Bruce Smith was out, but Sammy Smith was out for Miami. Mark Higgs, of all people, the diminutive one, raced for 147 yards today. Flea flicker, Dan Marino to Mark Clayton from Louisville. It's a 43-yard touchdown, and it's 7-0 Dolphins. Next series, Kelly doesn't see Lewis Oliver. He's picked off, and Oliver returns at 35 yards. Kelly makes the tackle, but Marv Levy is furious. But then Jim finds his touch. Hits his favorite target, Andre Reed. Makes the little turn on Oliver, and he's going to read his way into the end zone right there. 54 yards, 14-7, though Miami leads it at the half. Early third, T.J. Turner with the hit, Tom. Yeah, and Jim Kelly, it didn't look like he really took a, a bump on that ankle. Looked like he just got it stuck in that turf a little bit. But Frank Wright came in. The beat goes on. Wright beat Miami last December. A touchdown to put shake, rattle, and roll. His last nine receptions are all touchdowns. Kelly on the bench fighting off the pain. He returns. He saw Wright do it, and he goes to Thermal Thomas. 
didn't need to be thermal on this day. He was scorching. 50 yards, 21-17 Buffalo. Kelly not too gimpy now. 381 yards passing. 28-24 Bills. Big play. Third and one, Mark Higgs is popped. Mark Kelso finally falls and picks up the football. It's like the four corners in basketball. He's running down the clock himself. And that helped Thermal Thomas. 165 yards rushing, 108 yards receiving, two touchdowns. He ruins everybody, doesn't he? He's ruined the Dolphins again. The Bills had to play tough again against the very gay Miami Dolphins team. A serious Super Bowl hangover? Not. Let's take a look at Rich Stadium, where no problem with Thermal's helmet today. Watch this. Jim Kelly, first quarter, 10 yards, zip, touchdown, Thurman Thomas, 7-0, Buffalo. First quarter, sweeps around right in, 8 yards, Thurman Thomas goes right again, down to the 1-yard line. Thurman finishes off the drive, 1-yard touchdown, second of the day, 14-0, Bills, and watch this, Tommy. Look at the cut that he makes right there, Chris. And I think he's the only one in the league who can do that. First half, 82 yards rushing, 33 yards receiving, three touchdowns. That's the first half. Oh, yeah, Bruce Smith looked good, didn't he? Bruce Smith was healthy and ready. He showcased his skills both outside and inside. And I thought the move here that we're going to see coming up where he actually leaps over a defender proves that that knee is feeling good again. He had an outstanding day, either when he was blocked. The Rams often did not double-team him. That ended up being a mistake. There he sacks Everett. He had two sacks on the day today. And four pressures. Chuck Knox says we need him, don't we? Well, Jim Everett didn't need him. Cleveland Gary dropped the ball. Then Bruce Smith bats one down at the line. Almost picked off. Then nose tackle Jeff Wright bats one down at the line. Everett finally gets one away. And Henry Jones makes the interception. Everett gets another one away. A waffler picked off by Nate Odoms, who had a pair, as did Jones. First half for Everett, 9 for 22. Tackle eligible. Kelly to Mitch for Rock. 27-7 Bills at the half. They snap the ball to Thurman. And he thanks the referee for his support. Four touchdowns today for Thurman Thomas. So the drama. Could James Lofton get the 55 yards necessary to pass the legendary Steve Largent, number one in the yardage chart? Reich throws it there. He needs three more. Can't quite hold on there. But in the fourth quarter, as Reich is relieved, Kelly. Frank looks, pumps, Lofton makes the catch. 13,091 career yards. And I'll tell you what, he got help from the defenders here helping him catch it. When you catch passes for eight miles, you're allowed a gift three yards, all right? Congratulations. One of those guys that came into the league fast, and whenever he decides to leave the league, he'll leave just as fast. Mani Kuma takes the Chris Moore punt from his own 13-yard line, and he is gone. 87-yard return, 10-0 Giants. Bills now down 20-10 to 10 in the third quarter, first and 10 from their own 40-yard line. Jim Kelly finds Andre Reid on the crossing pattern, and he outruns everybody in a blue shirt. 60-yard touchdown, Bills now down 20-17. to 17. We go to overtime with the game tied at 20. Dave Brown fades back to pass. Bruce Smith hits him, fumble. Newest Bill, Chris Spielman picks it up, and the ball's now on the Giants' 33-yard line. Fourth down, they try for the game-winning field goal. Steve Christie, it's not wide right. 34 yards out, it's good. Bills win 23 to 20. The Bills trend of good starts continues. Titans Bills, Sunday night. Gotta love it. To beat the defending AFC champs, the Bills' defense returned to its league-leading form from the year before. By holding Eddie George to just 37 yards rushing and sacking Steve McNair four times, the defense set up the offense to land a knockout punch. Johnson wants the throw, rolls out to the right. He may run here. No, he throws to the end zone.
On the crucial fourth and one, safety Henry Jones canceled the Titans' plans to take the lead late in the game. With the game tied, the Bills needed one more shot to slay the champs. Dropping back, quick throw, he's got a completion of it. Down to the 40, down to the 35. What an incredible play by Eric Bowl. The Bills can win it. The Bills can win this game. Here we go. Moore will spot it on the right hash mark. Down on the way, and the kick is good. And the Bills have won it. The Bills have won it. Without any miracles, the Bills got their redemption and put last year's nightmare to rest. Last year, Drew Bledsoe became a Buffalo Bill, and he was 0 for 2 against Bill Belichick, and everybody said, well, Belichick's in his head. He can't do the job. Well... Tuesday, Laura Malloy was the defensive captain of the New England Patriots until he was cut for financial reasons. Thursday, he signed with the Buffalo Bills. They say they hadn't been this excited about opening day in a long time. Why? Laura Malloy introduced West with the defense. At safety from Washington, number 36, Lawyer Malloy. He's one of them now as Bill Belichick knows what kind of player he is, but maybe he didn't anticipate it would be this bad this soon. Larry Centers, the former Bill, Nikio Spikes, one of the new defenders brought in by the Buffalo Bills, blows up the play. Then, Buffalo scoring an 80-yard drive early, Bledsoe to Dave Moore, 90-yard drive. Touchdown through 17 of 28, 14-0 Bills against Belichick in the pass. Then, Tom Brady, Troy Brown, nailed by Spikes. Patriots forced to punt, crowd in a frenzy. Still 14-0, another new addition, the kid, Sam Adams, rumbling, bumbling. Stumbling. Touchdown. Sam Adams goes well with wings. It's a touchdown, Bills. Yeah, great job of swarming defense by the Bills. And look at Sam Adams. Got a he little moves. flavor. It moves well for a big man. He moves. He's his, his second touchdown. He's had many a return, a fumble scoop up, an interception return. This is second TD. Then, guess who's back? Lawyer Malloy throwing off of his hands and helmet into the hands of Nate Clements. You couldn't script it better if you were Lawyer Malloy. Yeah, working here against tight end Christian Fourier. Great job giving him the hands, getting inside of him. And boy, did he get on top of it the during these three hours. Brady, under pressure this time, it's Spikes. Oh, look at that. The ball just floated into <laughs> Spikes' hand. And now with a 28 nothing score, Brady. Not his day. Four ties his worst in the interception department ever. It spikes again. Crowd in a frenzy. Spikes. Malloy. Bledsoe. And the Patriots had beaten the Bills five straight times, but not today. On opening day of the 2005 season, Mike Malarkey and the Bills welcomed Dom Capers and the Houston Texans to Buffalo. Bills quarterback J.P. Losman made his first NFL start, and he began fast, hitting Lee Evans on a 42-yard pass. The reception set up the first of Brian Lindell's two first-quarter field goals. Another pair of field goals gave Buffalo a 12-0 lead in the second quarter before Houston had even gained a first down. The Bills' defense collected five sacks, held Texans quarterback David Carr to 70 passing yards, and forced five turnovers including Dominic Davis's second quarter fumble, his first in 328 touches. Carr got the Texans on the board of the second quarter on a one-yard touchdown run, closing the gap to 12-7. Bills running back Willis McGahee collected 38 of his 117 rushing yards on the next series. The Bills opened a 19-7 lead on a touchdown pass to tackle Jason Peters. After Ryan Lindell hit his career-best fifth field goal in the fourth quarter, Buffalo's defense iced the game on Lawyer Malloy's interception, making the final score 22-7. J.P. Lossman's successful debut gave the Buffalo Bills a great start to 2005. Ed Edwards, the starting quarterback, hands off to Marshawn Lynch, who picks up where he left off last year. Did I mention he's a Cal Bear, too, Rich? Well, there's a lot of them in the league. That offensive wear. line loves blocking for this guy. They adore him. And Jason Peters is coming back next week. 7 nothing, Buffalo's up. Roscoe Parrish, perhaps, uh, one with the play of the day. What a punt return this is. This is my favorite part. Two, here, right? Three, uh, and then this four. Oh, wow. 
63 yard score for Parrish. 14 nothing Bills midway through the second quarter. Matt Hasselbeck trying to get some points on the board for Seattle. Wide open Nate Burleson. Oh my goodness. Couldn't find the handle. Got to make it up. Got to make it up, Nate. So, what does home run do? He dials up uh, a play for none other than Nate Burleson. A much tougher grab, and this one he makes. He just needed a tough one. He just wanted to make the highlights, Rich. That's all. 14-7. Seahawks make it a one-possession game. But it's 20-7 at one point. Now it's 20-10 when it uh, looks like Ryan Lindell is going to line up for a field goal. But... Brian Mormon, the punter, just flings it out to Ryan Denny, who's wide open for the score. Yes, Bobby April. Look. With Seattle down 17, Josh Wilson on the return. And it appears at one point that Wilson may have gone out of bounds, but the play still goes much to the dismay of the Seahawks. It still continues because Wilson puts the ball on the ground and play wasn't reviewed and didn't need to be because Wilson never stepped out of bounds. He sure his, foot, his foot was hanging in the air. And so again, a fake field goal for a touchdown, ensuing kickoff for a fumble. The very next play, this is three plays, Trent Edwards to Robert Royal, touchdown, game over. In the rain at home, Chan Gailey and Matt Castle are holding the flag before the game. Opening kickoff here in Dexter McCluster, uh-oh. Can't hold on to the football, Kelvin Shepard recovers. That's not how you want to start a football no, season. No, not at all. Especially at home. So Todd Haley talking to McCluster about keeping his hands on the rock. Ryan Fitzpatrick to Scott Chandler. Been in the league just three years, but he's played for four teams already. Buffalo on top, seven to nothing. And our first and ten for the Bills again. Fitzpatrick. Yeah, the competition it's a prime time nominee to Steve Johnson. The you quarterback the competition's over now. Fitzpatrick's won this job. Four touchdown passes today. He looks like the real deal. What a strong arm, too, Coach. Giving the kid an opportunity right here. Steven Johnson, this guy runs up the football field. He's a fast guy, but he goes up and gets He's down 20 to 7, third quarter. Fred Jackson, all this guy does is show up, He's a ask for an opportunity, player, and he runs hard. 24 yards there to the Kansas City 35. Johnson at a buck 12. Fitzpatrick How'd to Chandler. Again. Chandler's second touchdown of the day at 63 receiving yards, 27-7. The route is on. A lot of blown coverages, guys. Fitzpatrick to Donald Jones. 34 to 7. And the fans, they're in traffic. Get Good. them later. They're going to Gates Barbecue. Bill, Bill's second possession of the ball game. Second and goal, EJ Manuel. Man, that was nice. Fakes out Jared Allen, takes it in for the touchdown. Turnovers in this game, to say the least. Second quarter, Jay Cutler finds Brandon Marshall, his favorite target, but Leonis McKelvin strips the ball. It's recovered by Preston Brown, who takes it to the Bears' 46-yard line. It's still 7-7. Seven seven. Second quarter, but the Bears' very next possession. Cutler looking for Martellus Bennett, but Intercepted by Corey Graham, who takes it back to the, uh, who takes it back 43 yards, and we'd hear from Corey Graham again. Second quarter now, Bills with it, first and goal from the seven-yard line. Again, this following the Corey Graham interception. E.J. Manuel looking for C.J. Spiller. Short pass and the easy touchdown, seven yards. Third quarter now, still 17 to 10, Bills. But the Bears with it. Jay Cutler. Guess what? He finds his bromance. Brendan Marshall for the 11-yard score. Bears tie the game at 17. Ignore the flag. Inconsequential. Fourth quarter now. Same score. Bears with it. Cutler fakes. Fires over the middle. And that's not a good call. Kyle Williams with the pickoff. Two interceptions for Jay Cutler. Ensuing Bill's possession. How about E.J. Manuel? A high throw, but a leaping Robert Woods. And as high as he possibly can to pull it down. That would lead to this. Dan Carpenter's 33-yard field goal is good, and the Bills go up 20-17. to 2.54 left to go in the game. Cutler finds Brandon Marshall, a 15-yard gain. Marshall would finish the game with eight catches, 71 yards, and a score. 35 seconds to go. Robbie Gold. 
37-yard field goal is good. Ties the game at 20, meaning we would go to overtime in the OT. The Bears with it. Jay Cutler nearly intercepted, should have been intercepted by Leotis McKelvin, but the Bears were forced to punt. Ensuing Bills possession, second and five. This is a great run by Fred Jackson. Pushing off Chris Canty. Looked like he got in there for the touchdown, but he's down at the one-yard line. Two plays later. Yep, that's the game winner. Hey, so why was it a special day? Well, in addition to his first actual regular season game as the Buffalo Bills head coach taking on the Colts, boy, they came out firing. Here's Andrew Luck, first and 10. How about the rookie, Ronald Darby? Darby. Ronald Darby gave up some plays in the preseason. He made some plays. He's aggressive. I think Rex Ryan loves that about him. Goes 27 yards on the return and the big pick. It's a big hug from Rex Ryan. All right, so next Bill's possession off the pick. Tyrod Taylor going deep. Not Sammy Watkins. That is Percy Harvin that on the 51 yard score. That's exciting. And I'll tell you what, everybody talks about Tyrod, ball control, run when needed, but he delivered on deep dime right there. That was Darius Butler in coverage on Harvin. No Greg Toller today for the Colts at corner. All right, here's Andrew Luck again, second and seven, and swallowed up by that Bills defense. This, Rhett, is what Rex Ryan is known for, and he has the personnel to get as exotic as he likes with that, that group of guys there. Two possessions later, Tyrod Taylor, we saw him make the pretty pass to Harvin. How about the run? You know he can do it with the wheels. At one point in this game, he was also the leading rusher for the Buffalo Bills. Finished with 41 yards on the ground. Three plays later, Hard Lopes Williams, the rookie, into the end zone. 26 yards for the score in the Bills. 17 to nothing at this point he over the Colts. actually outrush LaShawn McCoy in the game today. All right, so there let's you go. Got balance. Third <laughs> quarter here, opening play, and it's Taylor. There's LaShawn McCoy. Well, that's what you can't teach, and that's what you paid for when you got him in that trade. 22 yards on the catch and run. Later in the drive, now all the way into Colts territory, inside the 10. McCoy diving for the pylon and can't Booby. quite get it, but Booby Dixon does. Booby Dixon, don't forget about Booby Dixon. They have a lot of different styles of runners. They got a couple downhill guys. Carlos Williams, very downhill. Booby Dixon, downhill. And then Shady McCoy with his elusiveness. They can complement each other well in the backfield. And so the Bills. A little bit slow to catch up. All right, so still a two-store game here, but just over two minutes to play, and this will do it. Sealing the win for the Bills, it is Aaron Williams. Picked off off the uh, intended pass for Andre Johnson. Williams goes 26 yards back for the Bills, and the 7 to 14 in the opener at Orchard Park. Some depth and talent at the wide receiver position. Williams has come in the nickel for the Jets. Second down and 20 for Taylor. Gets it off to Rashawn McCoy. Makes a miss. LaShawn McCoy, he's been more yards from scrimmage than any other player the last couple of years in the NFL and weaving his way for 21. Josh McCall watching from the sideline, Tyrod Taylor to the end zone. Ooh. Intercepted! It's picked off on the play, Justin Burris with blockers ahead and runs into his own man, but he got it out. We're about a half hour drive, they tell us. First down and 10 after the punt, three and out by the Jets and Taylor to the end. That's caught by the rookie, Zay Jones, out of East Carolina. Second round pick, Tolbert is in. Nickel remains third and 11. The pincher. And it's caught. What a catch made by Jordan Matthews. That's up down here. Mm -hmm. McCoy on the linebacker. You see it. Taylor sees it. Touchdown. But it goes to Clay. One yard touchdown throw in critical situations. Out you go. On second down and one, they came from the wing. Jordan Poyer, third and 12. And he's got it on the fly, caught by Curse. He'll try a 48 yard field goal and get the Jets on the board, and that's exactly what he does. For that second down and 10. Tyron Taylor. Oh! Look at who he's got. Curse! All right, Matthews, excuse me, Matthews the other way. And Jordan Matthews, the best receiver for the Eagles a season ago, comes through. First and goal. Little chip there by the running back and a backpedaling touchdown, Andre Holmes. And a second one yard touchdown pass by Tyron Taylor. Down 
touchdown. A one-yard touchdown quarterback sneak by 38-year-old Josh McCann. Second and goal at the one. Tolbert. Touchdown. Really has to do with their personnel right now. Tight end and wide receiver. McCown hit hard as he throws. It's picked off on the play. And grabbed by Micah Hyde. Around a young quarterback. We talked about fourth different system for him in four years. Third different coordinator here in Buffalo. He's bought in. He's bought in. He's learned the system. Back. Poole is the fifth defensive back. It is second and ten. Here he goes. Ball is loose. Turnover on the play. The Jets look like they've got it. Secondary. Devin Singletary in the backfield. Here's Hammond after a Jets punt. First and ten. That's deflected. And picked up Mosey. He'll take it in. It's a pick six. Fourth highest paid linebacker overall. And Benton putting up the extra point. And he hits the upright. And this is no good. They will let it drop at the five and down at about the three. Second start inside the ten. It's Gore on first and ten, drilled at the line of scrimmage. They call the safety. Adams and Poole. Darnold. Touchdown. Le'Veon Bell. What a return to the NFL. It's been for him. Ah. He kicked the extra point, Kevin. He felt good about to a field goal kicker. Here comes Hughes. There goes Darnold. And Bell! Way Singletary way. in the backfield. Here's a first and ten. Got a block ahead. Good one by Morris. And there goes... Hushka from 43. Got it. The shutout's gone. He injured in the previous series. Second and three. Nice run here. This is Singletary into the second. With the quarterback, Allen, 16 to 27. To the air he goes. Beautiful catch across the way by Brown. Makes all the calls and the adjustments. Good point. Second down and four. Singletary. Busting outside. Another first down run. Allen got a couple today. That was a nice catch. Second down and five. Singletary again. Ooh. Big block. Morris gave it. He's inside. Allen. Yeah, eight rushing touchdowns last year. He sneaks inside the pylon. Three-yard touchdown run by Josh. And I answered first and ten. There's Singletary out of the backfield. Cashman, another rookie. He can't make the stop. And he shut down a bit. Quarterback sweep. He'll take it himself. Morris is right there. And they've also got Dawkins leading the way. Here's the blitz. Dawkins with the block. And got him out. Tackle out the rookie. Second down, 17. He's got him. That's Singletary. Singletary was 26 for the Bills. Both have put their fingerprints on this one. Third and four. Big play. Allen. And he's got him. At the five. The end zone. A flag. Caught by Brown. Roberts was on the side. A 38-yard strike thrown by Josh Allen. John Brown going deep. And he gives him a little double move. And... What Josh Allen does is he underthrows this football, allowing John Brown to come back and make a play on. 31. Donald. And he's got it, man. Is it broken oh, up? Oh, that's flaring, and that is incomplete. And on downs, the Bills will get.